The Eagles can definitely run the ball more down here because they're not necessarily trying to run it to get to the touchdown. All they have to do is get to the one yard line, and then you got it's, the push guaranteed, push, which is guaranteed. automatic. So that that goes into effect on third and three. You know, you know, hey, right here in goal, you got three to go. It's not like, hey, let's go get a yard and a half, and then we yeah. can do tush push and get the touchdown the next play. Yeah, the tush push is automatic for the Eagles, not for everybody, right? Minnesota. They failed the other day, and Sirianni talks about it. Nobody does it quite like the Eagles. I think it's the center and the left guard. That's that's who that, they get so low, and there you're moving people for them. Would you, you do it see. right here? Would you do it right here? And, and, and yes. just just to get just do it, do it twice it back in a row. Back. <laughs> do it, do, yes, do it. Yeah, that, do it twice in a row. Hey, Christian, during your uh, the 49ers six-game win streak, you are outscoring your teams by an average margin of 34 to 15. Uh, not the nitpick a little bit, but do you really think that that's a long-term formula for success? I think you got to <laughs> up that up a little bit more. Yeah, the gap's too close. No, definitely need to up it a little. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I you know I've been around this league long enough to know that uh, – those games where you win by more than one score, you can't take those for granted because that's definitely not the norm. Um, so anytime you can, you have to appreciate those for what they are. No doubt. Now, is it true that you decided that to challenge yourself a little bit more by catching passes while running backwards? Is that the new thing? Yeah, I was doing it's the old... Uh, running for. <laughs> just trying to do an up-down, you know, Little League warm-ups when they had to do the up-downs. I was just trying to, you know, please my Little League coaches, but... No, actually, I had no idea where Brock was. I had thought he was getting sacked, so I started backpedaling, thinking, you know, I, I didn't know if the play was about to be over or not. And then I saw the ball in the air and just tried to, you know, center field, pop fly, backpedal. Christian McCaffrey still with us. Christian, your 49ers have developed quite the rivalry with this Eagles team. There's been a little trash talk, a little extracurricular off the field. In fact, when you beat the Eagles back in week 13, there was an especially brutal hit on you. We'll show the clip here. Uh, let's be honest. Were you worried you weren't going to be able to get up after this one? That was tough, man. I mean, you just you hate to see dirty play go on, you know, especially this late <laughs> in the season when you're dealing with, you know, different bruises and bumps. And, you know, for Fletcher Cox to do that, man, just out of this world disrespectful. So I'm glad I'm okay, though. I'm glad the ref helped me up and uh, laughed in my face. <laughs> As I got up, yeah. he said, that was one of the worst acting jobs I've ever seen. I was like, ah, yep, you're right. And I just laughed with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. Yeah, one more look. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we oh. Go. oh yeah, yeah, good job with the arms, flaring the yeah. arms. Yeah, uh, the arms. Yeah. That was one of my, yeah. that was some of my worst work. I've had some good flops yeah. in my career. That was not one of them. You gotta spit out the mouthpiece, like as you're falling. That would be good. Like yeah. you gotta get, you know, you have been next, a couple next more time. spins on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Save that for the playoffs. Christian uh, Jalen Hurts is known for his intense lifting sessions. You have some pretty impressive workouts as well. We'll take a look here when we can. Uh, when I look at these, I guess the obvious question is, what in the world is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you know. <laughs> Um, that's a good question. I don't know, but I think playing running back, you got to be able to move your body in a whole bunch of different positions. Um, so I've taken, you know, some gymnastics. I don't want to call them courses, but I've added gymnastics into the repertoire. I've done some different animal movements or what you would call them just to put your body. You know, it's hard to train for football as a running back in the off season. It's the only sport where unless you put pads on and go out and play, you can't really train for it. So I just try to simulate, you know, falling, moving on the ground, these different positions that I might be in. I want to hear uh, about those animal movements when I get back. More animal moves when we come back. My addition was an hour ago. I'm just loving these cheese balls. Want a little head up? Oh, God dang. That's, just, <laughs> that's not the line to mess up. Christian, I'm so sorry that uh, you spilt your cheese balls while you're auditioning for the Manning cast. I hope you received the container of cheese balls that I, I sent you. Did you get them? Yes. What's up? Yes. All right. All right, yep. Pate, you just yep, uh, you just you do all the talking for a little bit. Christian and I are just gonna eat some cheese balls. 
and uh, you handle the rest, all right? Debo Samuel said you came in the huddle with a wristband and just started screaming every play call. What was going through your mind in that situation? Please don't scream your answer also. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, sometimes when you're playing in a hostile environment, one of my – I'm not going to call it a pet peeve because I find a way to listen, but – you have to be able to hear the quarterback. So my one goal was make sure they hear the play and don't get a delay a game. I got to make sure they hear the play. So I screamed that I'm in the middle of calling the play, and I forget who it was. They're like, dude, shut up. I think it was Debo. Told me to shut Debo. up mid-call. And uh, so then I started, like, whispering. I was trying to find the, the medium of how loud my phone should be. Uh, but we got the playoff. Um, I threw one pass in that game. It was one of the worst throws probably in the history of football. But a great throw away. Uh, didn't throw a pick and uh, didn't get sacked, so better than nothing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone thinks that, you know, football is easy, playing quarterback's easy. Quarter <laughs> quarterback's the toughest position on the field for a reason. When it Yeah, this, here we go. Look at this. Watch there this throw away. Nope. Oh, covered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like uh, the progression. I, I like how you I like how your one pass play was a flea flicker too, right, Eli? Let's give him yeah. a let's give him a nice easy completion, a flea flicker. <laughs> we can show it here in a second. Um, be honest, Christian. Um, are you a highly advanced football robot? Just uh, blink your eyes if the answer is yes. Not blinking. Oh, oh, okay. Kind of a blink. Oh, I, I, this actually paid. This kind of reminds me of how you used to have to put your helmet on uh, when you played, except they didn't use screwdrivers. They used giant, like, cranes. Yeah. They'd come Perfect. and just, you know, jam it on your head. Perfect. There Perfect. it is. Thanks for that. Oh, nice. Nice. That's nice. how they had to put your helmet on, Peyton. They had to, they had to just go nice. one part at a time, start from the side, come up top, then face, just drill the whole thing in. Exactly. I was wondering. I was wondering why Eli wanted me to ask that question so badly. We had a question about your piano skills, Christian. He's like, no, no, no. Let's ask about the yeah. helmet question. So, uh, they, oh, Eli, Peyton wants your the piano from Peyton. here. Yeah, Peyton wants like the you and Tua. He wants to we join y'all's band. Tua on the guitar, you're on the piano. The Peyton thinks he can sing, but you know. the Chris, the Christian's spot. got skills. Uh, he was on the piano at a Zach Bryan concert. Uh, here at Red Rocks uh, earlier this year, killing it. Here it is. This is you at age seven in a kid <laughs> versus mascot game at Mile High. You just juke Toro, the Texans mascot. You score, and then you mimic T.O. with the Sharpie celebration. Christian, <laughs> what in the world? Did you use up all your good touchdown celebrations in mini Mike football, and that's why you don't uh -huh. do it anymore? <laughs> I don't know what got into me, man. I don't. I don't know what. No, as I was playing in my brother's team. By the way, those mascot games are unbelievable. They hit you full speed. Like you, you know, we kind of <laughs> went in like this is a fun ordeal. I still remember to this day. Half our team was like crying. They're hurt, holding their leg. I mean, those guys are going full speed and absolutely, you know, hitting the. They're hitting hard. So for us, I just remember that. I was happy. I scored. I was running as fast as I could because I thought I don't know who it was. It might have been. I forget who the mascot was, but was sprinting Toro. full speed at me. Toro. Toro. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, my older brother and, and, and his friends were like, you got to do this celebration. So I so I did it. Knee pads on like my it. shins. The, <laughs> the, the pads are three sizes too big for me. Those were the days. And tonight you were actually replacing Kevin Hart, who was supposed to be on the Manning cast, but last minute had a conflict. I didn't really didn't have time to prepare for you. So is it okay if I just ask you the questions that I prepared for Kevin Hart? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me let me get in my Kevin Hart costume here. Okay. All right. There you nice. go. Yeah. There you go. All right, here we go. All right, Kevin, welcome to the show. Uh, you and Peyton had breakfast in Los Angeles last week, apparently, and uh, you're still telling the story about how the two of you were playing pickup football on a vacation. Let's take a look at the pictures that we have here in a second. There you are <laughs> next to Peyton. Uh, Kevin, was Peyton fun to play with, or did he ruin the vacation by yelling at all the kids when they ran the wrong routes? What do you think? <laughs> he was yelling at everybody, man. He was yelling at everybody. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I wasn't tall enough to go get some of those routes that, uh, that he was checking to. But, uh, yeah, we had 
we had a good time uh, in spite of in spite of Peyton for sure. Yeah, that's that's exactly what Kevin would have said, I think. So, I mean, who, who needs that guy anyway? C.J. Uh, Stroud has helped, has played really well this season, helped y'all get to a tie for first place by throwing 20 touchdowns, only five interceptions. Pretty impressive. Peyton, in his rookie season, he set the NFL rookie record for interceptions with 28. I guess my question is, is C.J. so good because he just wants to win and it isn't trying to chase records like Peyton was? With his interception mark? <laughs> oh man, what a question! Uh, man, <laughs> CJ uh, uh, is uh, is an, an incredible talent, man. Um, you know, you saw it stepping in day one during OTAs. I mean, he's young, but he's very mature. Uh, and then when you just when you turn on the lights, when you put on put on the the helmets and step on the field, he's got something. He's got it. He's got whatever it takes. That uh, man, he can have incredible vision downfield, um, and just we're never out of any game. No matter what uh, the time is left, the score is on the scoreboard, he's, you know, he's, he's given us a chance to win, and the guys have fed off that defensively. The other guys on offense, our, our receivers, tight ends, running backs, offensive line, it's been, it's been really special to watch him grow uh, as, a, as a quarterback and, you know, and do some things that I've never seen anybody else do uh, on the football field. It's it's really special to watch. You ever played against a defensive coordinator who was an offensive coordinator the year before? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't. It's, That's it's, uh, definitely it's, be a first. It's it's a first because it's not supposed to happen, Eli. This it's is where Matt Patricia. Thinking, this is where he belongs, Case. This is where he belongs, <laughs> right here on this side of the ball. I played against this guy a bunch. I think he's one of the best. But let's keep him on this side of the ball. All right, Mina. You know, DK Metcalf has been a star, a star since he entered the league, and you were there from the start. You were on ESPN's draft coverage right before Seattle picked DK in the 2019 in the second mm-hmm. round. We'll show a clip. When we get a second here, and we show you didn't give Sean Alexander. Yes! How are you so certain yes! that DK was going to be a star? You, I would imagine like, DK Metcalf. That's exactly what DK Metcalf sounds you. like. You did. I knew it. You. Golly. Yeah. You were fired up. You were fired up for DK Metcalf. How did you know he was going to be such a star? Yeah. Yeah, I got drug tested not long after that one. I- and I mean, I know you're such a big Seahawks fan that you wore a Seahawks helmet. On your wedding day, I know we have a picture when we get a second. Uh, can I ask, oh, no. you, why, did, why did you order Peyton's size helmet for this picture? Because we got like a different, a smaller size? I didn't want to ruin my hair. Uh, so ah, yeah. I, I think I did Peyton, ruin it actually with yeah, that. Peyton, he's ruined his hair. He looked like he wore a helmet earlier today. Hey, Nate. Uh, well, man to man. They stopped me ah, from wearing it down the shoulder. aisle. Yeah, they were really running on them, by the way. I, Sorry. I, just, I think so it. many thoughts were going through my mind. It's hard to just pinpoint one. You know, a lot, a lot of thoughts <laughs> there. But I Seeing think uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. Just, I think, yeah, yeah. I not sure. Not That's sure. the face the of that I make watching the Seahawks defense a lot of time this year. <laughs> but these these runs you guys are seeing out of with the multiple tight ends on the field, I, I feel like if they can just set up a shot play off of this for Locke, we get something going. 